everyone. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Zubin Akhtar and I am from Group B2. Now I am discuss about our presentation topic. The name of our presentation is Smart Irrigation Control System for Bangladesh Rice Research Institute. Points we are covered. Now I am discuss about introduction. Bangladesh is a developing country. Around 80% of the population depends on agriculture. Boro is one of the widely grown crop in Bangladesh. There are three types of cultivation. Boro, Ayush and Amo. In Bangladesh, we are mainly focusing boro rice cultivation. Boro is easily grown during the winter season via the autumn level of ground water trees of the bottom. The farmers, the GDP rate is 19.6%. The farmers of our country have little knowledge about the precision irrigation. So mostly they use the manual irrigation throughout the country. No scientific implementation in irrigation of rice. Our proposed device increased rice production by 35%. The name of our group members are Sadia Prinova, MD Ashapur Lalo, MD Indadul Hawk, ASM Asipul Hassan, Nabil Ahmed Hawk, and also me. The name of our mentor is Mohammed Mahmoud Lomi. Collaboration. This project is a collaboration between the Cisco Networking Academy and Bangladesh Rice Research Institute. This project is a task from BD to make a device for the purpose of irrigation for the boro rice field. The project is fully funded by the Cisco Networking Academy. They are finding 100% of project cost during the for the duration of the test phase. Problem statement: There is no proper irrigation guideline. The farmers of our country have manual irrigation knowledge and they use the manual irrigation system so it costs the wastage of too much water and too much electricity. Improper irrigation leads to hampering plants less yield feed yielding. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Mohammad Ashrafullah. This is our block diagram. In this block diagram, that's our selected field and it's our brain station. <coughs> In this picture, uh, our uh, device has an antenna. This antenna uh, sends the data to base station and our whole device uh, covered with the PVC part. Target of our project provide a precision irrigation monitoring of the device, uh, provide accurate uh, water level reading, condition of the uh, field will be observed from the base station, and all the devices are directly wired to the base station. Uh, project management our board team divided uh, three sub group the first group. Sadia uh, Prinova um, and Nuhina Akhtar is in group 1, they work in simulation part and Ashraf Ullalo and Imran Dulha work with measurement part and Ashraf Ullalo and Nabil Ahmed Dulha work with uh, uh, communication part. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum everyone, I am Ashraf Ullalo. Now I am going to talk about the equipments we are using in our project. The first equipment we are using in our project is Arduino Pro Mini as a part of microcontroller. The sensor we are using in our project is Sonar Sensor and the wireless communication device we are using in our project is RF module NRF24L01. Now Arduino Pro Mini. We are using Arduino Pro Mini because it is low cost device and it uses 3.34 to run this device and uh, it is less power consumption. That's why we are using Arduino Pro Mini in this project. Now the sonar sensor, we are using ACSR04 in this project, <coughs> it, it, it can uh, measure 2 cm to 400 cm and it is accuracy level is 3 mm. Now uh, it, it also runs at 3.3 volt and uh, it, it's less power consumption. that's why we are using sonar sensor. The wireless design, uh, the wireless device we are using in our project is RF module NRF24L01, it also runs at 3.3 volt and it less power consumption and that's why we are using this the standards uh, we are uh, the technical standards in our project is programming language C and C++ uh, data formats is radio frequency and software is Arduino IDE and projects for yes ethical standards international organization for standard uh, standardization ISO and international international electrotechnical commission IEC combined Publish this standard for software engineers. This standard promotes not to develop any device uh, or application that might harm human, animal, and environment in any harmful manner. That's all. Thank you.
Assalamu alaikum, I am Nabil Ahmed. I am going to talk about the impacts constant and SRS of this project. Our project has economical, environmental, social and health and safety impacts. Economical, the device is going to be low cost and uh, easily uh, servicing and it can increase uh, rice production by 35%. Uh, environmental the device is going to uh, reduce groundwater uh, uses and uh, uh, reduce the electricity. Uh, the farmers can easily adopt the technology uh, and uh, also reduce the water. There is an ethical impact on the project. Uh, constant political there is no restriction from the government uh, for, for using the device. Uh, the, as the device is low cost uh, and it can be manufactured in a large scale. The main uh, obstacle of the, our project is uh, make it sustainable uh, as the device is going to be placed in an uh, open field for 3 to 4 months. Yes, sir, yes. Uh, why are we doing the project? Uh, as the groundwater level is decreasing day by day, uh, this uh, system will uh, <coughs> reduce the ground, use of groundwater level uh, by using AWD method. Hello everyone, my name is Sikudul Hawk and now I am going to explain the SRS or system requirement specification part of our project. So now let's take a look at the use case part of our project. In here I are saying that there are three main use case part for our project which are field system, monitor, field condition which is other two small use case under it which we will cover in this use cases and also the update system. Now let us take a look at the brief explanation of all these use cases. First of all the use case that I am going to explain is create system. So in create system what we are actually doing is we have to check and develop the whole system and for that the, the precondition is that we have to have all the project tools and all the other stuff that we have need for this project and the users of this project is the system, system developer and the main course here is to first of all build the whole uh, hardware architecture and then uh, run the program in the hardware. Now let's take a look at the next use cases which is monitor field condition. Here the users are system developer as well as the farmers. The farmers are going to use this device to monitor the field condition and then based on that condition the device will take measures of what to take uh, or what to do next. Now let's take a look at the other use cases which is the update system. Update system is literally like the create system. In here we are going to enhance our project more and more. What we can add more, what we can do with our project, what kind of upgrade that we can add into our project, that sort of thing. Now let's take a look at the functional requirement. So the first and the most required function of our project is that if the water level reaches below 15 cm then we have to turn on the motor. So here this condition that the system should maintain and monitor the, the whole field and take action when the water level is below 15 cm is the main criteria here for our functional requirement. Now let's take a look at the non-functional requirement. Obviously non-functional requirement is not something that the uh, the, the PD will provide us with but we have to make sure that happens and the thing is when we are sending data via wireless, we have to make sure that the data does not get altered on the way of sending it and there is no problem while we are sending the data and uh, we have to also make sure that the data goes reliably. So that is our non functional requirement for our project. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum everyone. I am Sadia Prinobha. Now I am going to talking about the engineering decision part on SRS. First of all, I am going to talking about the processor part on the table. Here we can see we have many options as Arduino Uno, Arduino Mini, Arduino Pro Mini, Arduino Micro Mini and Raspberry Pi etc. We are going to use Arduino Pro Mini in our device because it is cheapest among all with rich library. It's also very, very. Um, it's also um, easy to use because of its size. Now the next table, communication module. Here we can see there is Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and RF module. We are going to use RF module because its uh, its communication range is very high and it's uh, and it's also very um, low in price. 
Now the next table, the measurement part. In measurement part, we are using ultrasonic sensor. Uh, it is uh, it is uh, it is smaller um, it's, it's smaller than other module uh, so it uh, so it is easy to use in our device and its measurement range is relatively long so we are using this in our device this is all about my part thank you everyone